Hello friends, welcome back to the BMAT tip series where I give you tips on how to do well in the BMAT. My name is Ali, I'm a fifth year medical student at Cambridge and in this video we're going to be talking about biology. We'll start by talking about content, then we'll talk about timing, and then we'll talk about practice and hopefully keep it short and sweet. Let's start with content. Thankfully, uh, BMAT section 2 mostly tests human biology with not much in the way of plants and ecology and all of that, that stuff. There is some stuff that you have to know about the carbon and nitrogen cycle, sadly, um, and every now and then they might ask you to compare and contrast a plant cell and an animal cell. But for the most part, it is human biology they're testing. The content of Section 2 Biology is very well described in the Section 2 Assumed Knowledge Guide, which I'll link in the description below, and which you all should definitely be using in your biology preparation to make sure you've plugged all the holes in your knowledge. As always, if you like, you can always find our own preparation notes on BMAT Ninja, but to be honest, the Section 2 Assumed Knowledge Guide is quite good and we all do biology A-levels, so you probably won't need our extra notes. So that's content done. Let's talk about timing. In section two, you've got one minute per question, which is really, really, really tight for timing. However, you should be aiming to do the biology questions in far less time than that. This is because the biology questions are generally factual recall based and don't involve any complicated calculations like the physics, chemistry, and maths questions sometimes do. Like, can you recall that insulin is produced in the pancreas? Or can you remember which way blood flows around the chambers of the heart? That sort of thing. Quite a lot of these questions are doable in less than 30 seconds, um, which gives you more time to use on the other more complicated calculation-based questions. But having said that, we shouldn't be rushing through the biology questions. Um, they are the easiest questions in the paper and we should be getting all of those easy marks. Cool, that's timing, let's talk about practice. As always, you can practice loads and loads of past biology questions on BMAT Ninja completely free of charge, or if you don't like the idea of that, you can always print off the past papers since 2003 and just work through those. I wouldn't spend an inordinate amount of time practicing biology, uh, it's by far the easiest of the Section 2 sciences and maths, um, and your time is probably better spent getting better at physics and chemistry and maths than it is at just learning more biology. And that's it! This was a shorter video than usual, which probably reflects the fact that you should be spending less time on biology than on physics and chemistry. We've talked a little bit about content, we've talked a little bit about timing, and we've talked a little bit about practice, which are the three pinnacles of Section 2 success. So, thank you very much for watching! Uh, please comment if you have any questions, Please give it a thumbs up if you liked the video and please subscribe to the channel if you feel like it. Have a great day and I will see you in the next BMAT tip video. Bye bye.